G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the Nature Hike Vic 2 Tent. Get it set up and I'll show you as I go. First part, the ground sheet. Now this did come folded up in a smaller bag, but all I did was fold it over a couple of times and then just fold it up. It fits in the pack a lot easier. The pegs that come with a tent are like the white pegs made of aluminium. Very strong. I've used the nature height ones before and at the moment I haven't bent any yet. I would yet one day I may do. So there you go, the Y shape, very similar to the groundhog. Pole. Go into two hobs and then split in. And then there's a second pole which goes across the top as a spreader pole. So there's one of your hubs. That's it, get in this shot. You've got the elasticated cord in, in the middle which holds it all together. So you're not going to lose any as long as you lose the second piece. And that's the second pole, it's a three piece. And that's it, locked in nice and easy. Tip for this one is a silver colour, colour coordinated, and this one is the, I'd say, more of an orange colour. You see the colour coordinated ends. We've got a silver point of the poles comes down to the silver grommet of the ground sheet and the tent has the same. And this end you'll see is your orange grommet and the orange tip to the pole. Next step before we put the spreader pole on is get the actual tent body itself. I mentioned the grommets. Here's an orange one on the corner of the tent body. And as you see here, like we did with the footprint, we've got the orange grommet underneath and the tent orange grommet on top. And I've just taken it out of the bottom and then put it through the two at the same time now. And I've done that on each corner. Now I've just done these up. And these are fairly simple ones. They come all the way down, holds it up and down to this point and there's just double hooks one handed, you can put it in, twist it and it's locked no struggling with trying to force it on just that simple twist and you should probably see here before we got to the top we have a piece of metal in between the pole sections with a hole in and that's for your extra guy line when the weather gets a bit much you can peg it out another three anchor points there's one there a second one on this end and a single one on this end but 
up on the top pole here. Now the next part to get it ready for the spreader pole is this. Now this one I'm going to need two hands because I've got to get it up on that pole there and it's a bit tight. So there it is. I've put the top pole through the bottom part and we've got this piece here which all swivels and turns and that's for your spreader pole to go in the top there. Just like that. And either end of the spreader pole, again, we've got these points here. And on the actual tent body itself, we have these grommets. And that just goes in there. But you can see now how that spreads the top of the tent out. So your walls inside actually start here and that will go down not at an angle. So you gain a lot more upright, should I say, or somewhere you can sit all the way up to the edge of the tent itself. Next is to peg the vestibules out and each end down here. Now before I peg this one out, let me show you this. You can see the mesh here. Now that pulls out this way and that goes straight through into the main tent and out the other side so you get airflow going straight through the tent from the ground level and we've also got two air vents at the top Velcroed closed at the moment we'll lift that up out of the way and then we've got a little stiffener with the loop part of the velcro or your hook and loop and the hook part of the velcro is here so we'll just put that in there in place and that holds it open and there's a second one like I said on the other side for the airflow okay, open that one up put it in place and there you are see straight through the tent and out the other side from here You'll notice this flap, that's a weather flap. So if you want to keep this open in the rain, you can do. There's a possibility you might get some water going there, but the idea of this flap is as the wind blows in the rain, it lifts that up, hits that, and then comes down the tent, and that prevents it going into the actual main tent area. So you can keep your airflow. Now we have some built-in line locks here. So we'll just grab the line, give it a bit of a tug, Nothing too excessive, and it's tensioned this rest of your buell up. And we've got the same on each side, or each end, whichever way you want to call it. The line locks, just give it a tug. Again, on the second rest of your buell. And you needed a small amount. And now here, that's all set now. So that took one, two, three, four, five, six pegs to get it to that point. And we've got one, two, three, feels like three more left for these uh, harsh weather points. And I've got the guy lines that came with it in here, in the peg bag for these, which I haven't put on yet. And let's go to the vestibule. I like these. I've got Velcro, which hold the storm flap down. But these ones are quite clever. They've got this is pegged at their mitts or hooked up there a minute. They've got magnets in, so when you're inside, you don't have to worry about trying to struggle to get the Velcro done. Do the zip up, and it clips in place. So we've got one at the bottom and one halfway up. Uh, the zips look like they're about a size 3 zipper. I don't know what brand they are, there's no markings on it. It's a two way zipper, so we can undo it at the top to get a bit more, more ventil uh, ventilation. And if the rain's coming that way, that's underneath the storm flap, so that's going to help a bit more with condensation having that done or undone down a bit. And he saw me with this hook. There's no tie off points halfway, but they have this hook 
and I'll show you me doing that now. First thing I'm going to have to do is undo the zip. Now when I've seen people do this, they've brought it through on the outside and just hooked it up down here. But what I do, and I'll tell you why, is I'll take it up the inside and then hook it around. Sorry, hook it around here. And that way, if it rains, the inside of this is not going to get wet. So when you're sleeping in it, it's going to be reduced to condensation because you don't have a wet panel on the inside. And now this one here, we can roll up and that goes to this toggle here. And again, I'll roll that under so all the actual dry parts will remain dry and it's going to be less wet in there. And we've got rain coming now as I speak. But let's carry on, let's get inside. The zip here is just a one-way one zip, same size as the vestibule one. And as you can see, it can be used one-handed. But you get to that point, and you're going to be need it as two. But you've got these pulls on it on the inside and on the outside. This mesh goes up to a small toggle here. And we've got a loop on the inside to put the toggles through. So let's go on the inside now. Well, before getting the inside, I have used my uh, regular Thermarest sleep mat in here and it fits plenty of room. There's room for two, easy. But if you're gonna have the larger 25 inch wide sleep mats, you are gonna have a squeeze. They are gonna be touching in the middle and on the sides. So you're not going to be able to have any gear in the tent with you. So this is the mesh I was on about from the outside. So this allows a lot more airflow to come through. And also allows condensation that get, get, uh, builds inside of the tent to come down, land on the mesh and then make its way through the mesh to the ground on the outside. And again they've put another storm flap here. So if any of the actual condensation makes it that far, that's going to stop it coming into the tent and that's just going to go through the mesh. And like I said, there's a second one at the other end there, which does the same. At the top, we've got a loop where we can hook a headlamp on there. And here's your vents on the inside. You can feel it blowing. It's raining outside and nothing's blowing in there except for fresh air. I'm not the tallest of people, but I'm sat in the middle and there's a good six, eight inches. I sat, where are we? Yeah, there it is. Uh, six inches there above my head. I'm five foot six, but I've seen people five, ten, six foot sitting here and still have an inch or two above the head. And you spread up a hole, it comes across here, and that's how it's pulled this out further. So it gives you headroom, not as much at the ends, probably about, about an inch and a half less here than in the centre. But you've got plenty of headroom. You've got your vertical panels here, which is a mesh. Now this is a single skin tent. And here's the outside. And this is stitch this panel with a mesh on to create a closed off area to keep all your bugs out. And so you can keep it open and fresh air come in on dry nights. Pockets. We've got two. One here. Not a bad size. And another one over here with the attention fire warning on it. All in all, stitching's really nice. Uh, apart from this one, they haven't finished it properly, but that's just a matter of cutting it and cleaning it up. That's not going to bother me. Tape seal. Tape seamed, shall we say, all the way. So it's 100% waterproof, or should I say, it's waterproof, it's not going to let the water through the actual material. And it's not going to come through the stitching because the ta uh, tape seal is really nice. 
corners are reinforced and again uh, tape on them to stop any water coming in and that's on all four corners and there's that loop on the inside like I said for bringing your toggle around let's try and do this one handed and putting it through the loop excuse me, let's use two hands, I can't do it there's the wind picking up and that's it this does hang down here but you've still got plenty of room coming across to get in and out without not being in your way uh, they could have brought that a little bit lower don't you think so it could have been there oh no they finished the zip there so yeah that's the right spot they've done it So that's the Nature Hike Vic 2 tent. I like it, I do. Uh, I went off tents a while ago, went into my hammocks and my bivvies. Are easier and quicker the bivvy is to just roll it up and the other strap it to the outside of your pack. Uh, I suppose you could do similar with your tent. Just take a little bit longer, pulling the pegs out, rolling it up, packing it away, doing the same with your ground sheet and your poles. But putting all that aside, it's a nice tent, plenty of room. It's a bit chilly outside and I can feel it's a lot warmer in here. But I believe in the summer you are going to need all your vents open, both sides, excuse me, to get a good airflow. But all in all, a thumbs up from me. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you get notified of all future videos coming up. And then cl click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.